I have a few new additions in my tanks. A few new orchids that I brought from Montreal Orchid Show last weekend. Here on the back I have two Draculas. Then here is Dracula Vespertilio. And the second one is Dracula Diana. They both came from Aquagenera. They came bare rooted. I potted them into a sphagnum and no pots. They look okay. They're not large growing Draculas, medium sized or even smaller sized. I have to be very conscious about the uh, size of my plants to feed them into the tank, so I didn't pick up the large ones. Dracula Diana and Dracula Vespertilia. Two new Draculas. Let's see how they do here. I got three new Masdevalias. This large one is Masdevalia Arabacana. It's supposed to have dark red flowers, large ones. A smaller one but similar is Masdevalia tavariensis. It will have pure white flowers. Masdevalia tavariensis. And a very little miniature one. Right here. It's Masdevalia venatoria. I don't feel very good about it because it came very dry. Crispy dry. The stems, even the leaves. And it had no roots at all. So I potted it into a sphagnum moss. But I'm not sure if it's going to make it. I might need to buy the replacement. So those are three new Masdevalias. They came from my Quaginera too. And moving here, I have a few new Fragmipediums. This one here is the largest one. It's a Fragmipedium Eumelia Aries. It is primary hybrid of Kavachi and Shlimi. And Shlimi is a small size Fragmipedium, so it probably will make the plant compact. Hopefully, that's why I bought it. But it's supposed to have pretty large flower. So Fragmipedium Emilia Aries. And uh, Beside it is the actual Phragmopedium schlimi, which is compact Phragmopedium species with pretty pink flower. I think it's um, pale pink, white with pink, something like that. Very cute flower. The plant, when I unwrapped it, it came into two pieces. So here's the second part of the same plant. Or maybe it's a different plant, but it's schlimi too. And it has bud growing. Now let's hope it will not blast and grow. So those are two plants of Fragmipedium schlimi. And one more Fragmipedium. This one is not from Aquagenera. This one I bought at the show from Raymond Lucier. I say the name correctly. They, this is a division of a plant, Fragmipedium desarmo. And here's the flower, how it's gonna look like. It's a division of this exact plant. Really like the flower. Hope it'll grow. The, that's the uh, bad looking part that's an old fan it's dying eventually it's gonna die that's okay and there's two new fans growing that's how fragmipediums grow the old growth flowers and then 
dies, but it produces new offsprings. So those are my new Froglopediums. And what am I missing? Uh, one more new plant in this thing is this large. Well, actually, it's a small seedling of a large plant. This is a seedling of of Angricum longicalcar. I bought it from an Orchid Paradise Nursery at the show. I didn't pre-order it, I just saw it. And I thought it would be cool to have. Angricum longicalcar. And that's actually a small seedling. So we'll see how the plant, how big the plant's gonna be when it grows. So those are new plants in my large tank. Now we're moving to a small, hot and humid tank. And the new plants here are Spalbophyllum rachelianum. It's a small plant. The new bulb has nice healthy leaf and roots. This uh, plant came, the warm growing plants came from orchid floriculture in, in Taiwan, so they are imported, came by rooted. They're not in their prime condition, but they should be okay here. So Balbophyllum rachelianum, Juanda scandalanulata. Uh, I saw the flower of it, I think it's a boxelin variety, Pandalanulata. It's a seedling, but uh, pretty substantial in size. And Pandaluzonica. This one is quite small seedling, but healthy. It'll grow. So two pandas. And this large plant, this is new too, came from Orchis Flariculture in two. And this is Angraecum aburneum. It will grow into a huge plant too. So eventually it will have to move out of the tank. But for now it will be here. Angraecum aburneum. So those are my new plants in this tank. And I have one more plant, new one to show, that did not fit into any tanks. And here's the last of the new plants. Last but not least. It's Maxillaria fructiflaxa. It came from my Quaginaria too. And it turned out to be pretty large plant. I did not expect it so big. So it has to live here in a bathroom with my other larger plants. The new growing bulbs and some yellow leaves that they hope just old and will eventually die. So this is Maxillaria fructiflexa. And the end, a little update on my Mastivalia amplexa. Now two buds opened into flowers. And two more buds to go. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.